I want to introduce you to two incredible nurses, Robin Danes and Christy Patterson. They're both working the front lines, have two different stories, but share one thing in common, and that's a whole lot of family support. This shout out is to Robin Danes, <laughs> AKA Wonder Woman, AKA Supermom. It's a different kind of Mother's Day for nurse Robin Danes. Not only did she have to work, she couldn't return home. The mother of five has been in self-quarantine. To date, she's spent 38 days living in a hotel to protect us. You're amazing, Robin. Rick and Robin's youngest son has Down syndrome and is more prone to respiratory problems. Another son has asthma. And so does Rick, who 18 months ago donated a kidney to a family friend and is now running a household all by himself. He's been Mr. Mom, Mr. Dad. He's been Mr. Everything, so happy Mother's Day to Rick. <laughs> we miss you, and we love you, and we can't wait for you to get back. But staying away for now is the safest thing. If I were to take this home to my family and something were to happen, I could never forgive myself. And so for me, it's very real, and it's very scary. But I also know what I need to do, and I just do it, and we move on. So that's why. I'm in a hotel room. My biggest fear would be to bring something home to my family and get them sick. Over at the Patterson household, Christy, a nurse and mom of three, says there is a huge emotional toll. You, you know, get home laying in bed thinking, did I wash, did I wear my protective gear right? Did I wash my hands? She follows a strict routine when she gets home. I don't talk to anybody. I go straight upstairs into the shower. Her family is showing their support by making face shields on 3D printers. 17-year-old Wyatt, with the help of his sisters and dad, has made more than 200 so far. He's really perfected his masks to make sure they're very comfortable for us. The son of a nurse and a paramedic retired firefighter, helping is in Wyatt's DNA. It's a little peace of mind that she's a little bit better protected from getting sick. As a mom, you're used to taking care of your family, but here your son is taking care of you and your coworkers. I know, it's, it's, it's amazing. I, I am so extremely proud of him, too, that he not only wants to take care of me, but wants to take care of our community, frontline workers, and our doctors. On this Mother's Day, we honor these two moms. Happy Mother's Day, Mom. And the countless other nurses and families. Happy Mother's Day. Sacrificing so much. Thank you, guys. I love you. Happy Mother's Day. Both Robin and Christy have had coworkers fall very ill from COVID-19, so they remind everyone to wash your hands, wear masks when you're out, and stay safe. Tomorrow we continue our Nurses Week series highlighting the new challenges of hospice workers. Back to you.